Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today I have an interesting argument for you. Which do you think is the best anti-ship cruise missile in the world? What is the most important aspect for a cruise or anti-ship missile? Be invisible or fast? In the following video we will analyze these two kind of strategies. And to be more precise, I decided to choose different missiles that will represent the different categories. On one side we can find the AGM-158 long-range anti-ship missile from United States. This one is the stealth missile that we will analyze for the first feature, being invisible. On the other side we can find the 3M22 Zircon from Russia and this one will represent the speed factor. But just because the Zircon is very new and actually still not in service yet, we will analyze also a similar missile, the fastest in uh, this moment active, that is the BrahMos, based on the Onyx missile from Russia. The BrahMos is developed by a cooperation between Russia and India. But let's start immediately checking the specifications of the AGM-150. First of all, this missile from the name you can notice is a long range anti ship missile. So it has anti ship capabilities but also land attack capabilities. All the missiles that we will uh, check in the video can attack both ship and land targets. The AGM-158 entered in service in 2018 and it has a cost of 0.9 million dollars. It's actually not so expensive compared to the others. The manufacturer is Logged Marty. While checking on the other side the 3M22 Zircon from Russia, we can notice this is of course an anti-ship and land attack missile, will be in service from the next year in 2021. It has a cost of 2 million dollars. This is the first difference. Of course, in this case the price is almost the double. And the manufacturer is NPO Machino Stroyenia. I hope I spelled the name right. What about the dimensions? For the AGM-158 we have a weight of 1.1 tons, a length of 4.3 meters, a diameter of 0.6 meters and a wingspan of 2.4 meters. For the Zircon we can immediately notice that the weight is much higher. We have a weight of 3.5 tons, the length also in this case is higher, 9 meters, and most of the length is for the booster that we will check later, don't worry. The diameter is almost the same, in this case is 0.8 meters, and the wingspan is actually lower than the AGM-158, because it's only 1.5 meters. Why we have these differences? Well, if we check the next information, we will understand why. First of all, we have a range of 600 km for the AGM-158 with a maximum speed of 1100 km per hour or Mach 0.9. So this missile flies at a lower speed than sound. It has a flight sailing of 15,000 meters. It can fly at a minimum altitude of 3 meters sea skimming, so it flies just a little above the, the sea level. And for the engine we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster and a second stage liquid fuel turbojet. For the Zircon we have a range more than 900 km with a speed of 9800 km per hour or Mach 8.0. The flight sailing is similar to the AGM-158 and it's 14,000 meters. The flight altitude is the same, 3 meters sea skimming. While for the engine we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster, the same of the AGM, while the second stage is a liquid fuel scramjet. Now, why these data are so important? Of course, the Zircon speed is much higher, it's 8 times higher than the AGM-158. Also, the range is higher, even if it's heavier. And how is that possible? Of course, the engine is the most important side in this case, because we have a second stage with a liquid fuel scramjet, but also the fuel rocket booster is much bigger than the one adopted for the AGM. This is also why we have a higher length. So the first difference here is of course the engine and the speed. And this is what makes the Zircon a so interesting and so good missile. It's really fast, but really fast. Can you imagine this missile going 8 times faster than sound? But on the other side, why the AGM-158 is so slow? It really needs to be so fast? Well, for the AGM we have another important feature. It's a stealth missile, yes, it's stealth, it's invisible to readers, or this is what they claim of course. So, if the missile is really invisible, it really needs to be fast, 
because if the enemy can't detect the missile, it doesn't matter how fast it is, it can hit the target even before they can notice something happen. And this is the main philosophy of this missile, hitting the targets without being noticed so the enemy can't defend against it. And this is also where we have the first point of discussion of the video. The Zircon is really fast. Is it possible for the enemy to stop it? Because I think it's quite difficult to stop something traveling so fast. First you have to target it. It's so fast and flies so low that it's even difficult to detect it. But even if they can detect the incoming missile, can they stop it? And if yes, they can stop it in time before it hits the target? That's the first point. As I said before, okay, the Zircon is actually still in development and will be ready in the next year. But in this moment we already have a valid alternative, the Indian Brahmos. This one is being in service from 2006 with a cost of 2.7 million dollars, so it's much expensive. The manufacturer is Brahmos Aerospace Limited and it's a development between Russia and India because it's based on the Russian Onyx missile. It has a weight of 3 tons, so similar to the Zircon, a length of 8.4, a diameter of 0.4, and a wingspan of 1.7. Both dimensions are similar to the Zircon, just a little lower. For the range, we have the same range of the AGM-158, 600 km, and the speed is still much higher than the AGM, but of course lower compared to the Zircon because we have only 3,700 km per hour, or Mach 3.0, so it's only 3 times faster than sound, not so much. The flight sailing is uh, the same of the Zircon, 4,000 meters. we have the same flight altitude of 3 meters as is skimming, and the engine, we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster and a second stage liquid fuel ramjet. Of course, what we said before for the Zircon is still valid also for this one. I just wanted to mention the Brahmos because it's actually in service, so uh, for the people People who may think, okay, the Zircon do not exist, we do not have so many proofs, we have only tests. This one is actually in service from a while now, it was uh, tested many times. So I think it's another valid alternative that we can mention to afford our argument. So on one side we have a missile that is not really fast, but it's invisible. So the enemy can't detect it and probably can't stop it. On the other side we have a missile that is not invisible, but it's really fast. So even if they can detect it, they are able to stop something traveling so fast before being hit. And this is the main point of the video. What do you think about it? Is more important being invisible or being fast? Of course the best solution would be being invisible and fast, it's obvious. But in this case we have these two kind of strategies and I really would like to know your opinion about it. Of course at the end of the video I'll tell you my opinion as well and we will see if you agree or not with me. But before giving an answer, I would like to check also the other characteristics of the missiles just to have a better overall knowledge about them. So for the AGM-158 we have a warhead of 450 kg and the type is a Nike Explosive Blast Fragmentation Penetrator. We have also another variant called AGM-158ER or Extended Range introduced in 2009. It is an air-to-surface variant with more than 1000 km range. While for the Zircon we have a warhead of 400 kg and the type is a semi-armor piercing. We do not have variants because it's actually still in development so of course we can't. Both of the missiles have an accuracy of 1 meter so they are really precise. Now, for the AGM-158 we have more kind of system to detect the target, also because it's an invisible missile, so it needs also system to detect the target without being noticed, and this is why it adopts many kind of system to detect the targets. For the Zircon we have less of them, because it's not a stealth missile, it doesn't need to hide, and is fast enough to just don't care about it actually, will hit the target even before they can do something about it. And at the end we have the launching platform. The the AGM-158 can be launched from aircraft, ship and land, while for the Zircon we have submarines, ship and land. And just like we did before, we will mention fastly also the Brahmos, the actual fastest missile in service. The Brahmos has two kind of warheads, we have a 200 kg warhead for the standard variant and a 300 kg warhead for the air launched variant. Also this one is a semi-armor piercing type, but we also have the nuclear variant if needed. 
We even have two variants for the Brahmos, both of them in development. We have the Brahmos 2 that it can reach a maximum speed of Mach 7 that will be introduced in 2021. And this variant is very similar to the Russian Zircon. Then we have the Brahmos NG, new generation, that will be introduced in 2022 that is a smaller and a faster variant with a weight of only 1.5 tons. Also the Brahmos has an accuracy of 1 meter like the others and many systems to detect the target. Interesting that the Brahmos can be launched from almost anywhere. We have aircraft, submarine, ship and land. So now that we have an overall knowledge about the missiles, a fast recap. On one side we have missiles that are not so fast, but they are invisible, so they can't be detected. On the other side we have missiles that can be detected, they are not stealth, but they are really fast. So probably even if they can be detected, they can't be stopped. It. So for you, which is the best method to attack the enemy? Being fast or invisible? Of course, as promised, I tell you my opinion about it. And to me, the best solution is actually the speed. But why? Well, the main reason is because can the missile really do what they claim? On one side, yes, we have a missile that is invisible but it really is invisible because we all know that the stealth features exist but they really work so well so the missile is really invisible because if they can detect it it's not so difficult to stop we have many anti-missile missiles i know it sounds weird but we have anti-missile missiles and for these weapons it's not difficult to stop something flying at a lower speed than sound. While on the other hand we have a missile that even if can be detected flies really fast. So even if they detect it in time they will not be able to stop it. Moreover remember that this kind of missile can be launched from yes aircraft, land, ships but even submarines. So just imagine a so fast missile being launched not so far from the target. Of course, I may be wrong and the stealth features of the AGM are perfect so you can't see it in any case and will always hit the target, I'm not sure about it. So this is why I wanted to make this video, to introduce this interesting argument I think and also know your opinion about it. So for you, which is the best method? Being stealth or fast? Do you agree with me or not? Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And if you appreciated this uh, fast video, remember to leave a like. As always, I tried to make the video easy to understand for anyone. Remember to subscribe and checking also the other videos like this one. You can find them in the right top corner, description of the video, on the channel playlist. So you can check also the others if you like the argument. Click on the bell to receive a notification and know when I upload a new video. But as always, you will find a new content every Saturday at 12 GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, so you can convert the time with your time zone. And that's all. See you next time with a new video. Bye bye.